I'm going to show you one of the application of spatial coordinate in navigation. First, I will introduce a little bit of background of navigation. Then, I will convert the location of Singapore to spatial coordinates and rectangular coordinates. And then, convert the location of New Orleans to spherical coordinates and rectangular coordinates and finally I want to find the di shorter distance and finally I want to find the shorter distance between Singapore and New Orleans along the Earth's surface. First, let's try to understand how do we specify location of a point on Earth. We use longitude in degree and latitudes in degree. Now, the longitude is measured from the prime meridian, which is a great circle, passed through the North Pole, South Pole, and a place called Green Ridge. And we measure the location of point from here, east or west. And then the latitude in degrees measure from the equator and this is how we measure our location here is a and here is an illustration of how do we measure a location latitude or longitude suppose I have a point let's say this point is located at 60 degree is and 45 degree north then it means that at angle 60 degree from the prime meridian or you rotate the x-axis 60 degree and then you rotate another angle 45 degree from the XY plane, horizontal plane from the center is 45 degree. And then you get the location of a point. Now this is closely related to spherical coordinates. The same point can be obtained by spherical coordinates. If you take rho to be radius of Earth, and and theta will be 60 degree and phi in this case is a is an angle measured from the north pole downwards and this angle for the measure from the north pole downwards is also 45 degree and this is how the navigation coordinate is related to spherical coordinates. Now let's look at the point Singapore. The latitude of Singapore is 1.31549 and the longitude is 103.83. Our task now is convert the location of Singapore which is 1.32 north, 103.83 east to a spherical coordinate. We, although we know that the Earth is not a perfect sphere, but let's say we can model the Earth by a sphere. Let's say the radius is 6,370 km. Then a longitude of 103.83 east corresponds to theta 103.83 degree and then a latitude of 1.32 degree north correspond to the angle phi 90 degree minus 1.32 which is 88.68 degree therefore the spherical coordinates of the location of Singapore rho theta phi is 6370 103.83 degree 88.68 degree
Now, let's convert the location of Singapore to Cartesian coordinate now or rectangular coordinate. Now, we can use a conversion. The formula for conversion is x equal rho sine phi cosine theta, y equal rho sine phi sine theta, z equal rho cosine phi, where rho is 6370, theta is 103.83 degree, phi is 88.68 degree, and then we find out the x, y, z coordinate is minus 1522.3, 6183.7, 1182.7, to the coordinate system origin located at the center of the Earth. Now let's look at another point. This time the point we're interested in is New Orleans, which is 90 degree west, 30 degree north. First, let's convert this to the spherical coordinate. Rho is 6370 kilometer. The longitude is 90 degree west. Now this is correspond to 360 minus 90 or 270 degree measure from the prime meridian eastward. Now and then the latitude of 30 degree north correspond to phi equal to 90 minus 30 which is 60 degree. Therefore the spherical coordinates is rho theta phi. 6370, 270, and 60 degree. Now let's convert the location of New Orleans to rectangular coordinates. We find that using the conversion formula, x equal rho sine phi cosine theta, y equal rho sine phi sine theta, z equal rho cosine phi. We find that x equal to 0, y equal to minus 5516.6 and z equal to 3185 now suppose I want to ask what is the shorter distance between Singapore and New Orleans along the upper surface how do we go about that now we can use dot product to help us over here I have point A and B now point A represents the location of Singapore I have A represents Singapore the coordinates of A is minus 1522.3i plus 6183.7j plus 146.7k obtained from the, the rectangular coordinate of Singapore and also the point B represents New Orleans. So OB is a vector position given by 0i minus 5516.6j plus 3185k. Now if I use the dot product, so we know how to use the dot product, we just multiply minus 1522.3 times 0, I get 0. And then I multiply 6183.7 and minus 5516.6 I get minus 341129994.42 and then I multiply 146.7 and 3185 I get 467239.5 so the dot product between OA and OB is given by this number now why I use a dot product here the reason because I can use a dot product to find an angle between OA and OB Let's say the angle between OA and OB is alpha here. Then OA dot OB is length of OA times length of OB cosine alpha. OA is the radius of the Earth. So the length of OA is 6370. The length of OB also 6370. You need not to compute the length of OA and OB again. Find that cosine alpha is minus 0 0.8292. Press the calculator, we will find alpha is 2.5484 radian. At 146.02 degree. Once you know the angle, then we can find the distance between A and B along the planet Earth by looking at what is the distance now of this arc.
right the distance of this are here and this is how we calculate the distance of s is rho times alpha the alpha is in radius since we know rho is 6370 and alpha we find out earlier is 2.5484 radian so you find that the distance from a to b that is the distance between singapore and new orleans is 16233.3 kilometer now if we use a degree mode this is approximately 146.02 degree over 360 degree times 2 pi times 6370 which is also about 16234 km. Now you can check the distance between Singapore and New Orleans. So the, I have two points here. Left side is the location of Singapore. And the right hand side, New Orleans. And we find that the distance between them is 16221. 0.526302 km. Now, this is something let's try now. Do you know where is the furthest point away from Singapore on Earth? Using the Google Earth, I find the location of Singapore. Then, I can find the location of the point furthest away from Singapore which is here is Singapore the location of a point furthest away from Singapore is here you can do your calculation then the Google Earth will show you the A is this location and then Google Earth will show you the location of a point furthest away from Singapore and where is this point I find that this point is located somewhere in South America, Ecuador. And what is the distance between Singapore and that point? For this point on Earth away from Singapore, the distance is using the angle. We know the furthest point, the angle should be pi, radian. So the distance will be is rho times alpha, which is 6370 times pi, or 20011.9 km. And that is the end of the recording. Thanks for watching.